ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಏರೋ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ರೇಸರ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಬಿಲವರ್ಡ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಜನಾಥ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಜಿ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೇಸರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಜಯ್ ಭಟ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಿರಿಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ವಂದಿತಾ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಅವರ ಚೀಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ರಮಣಾರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಗೌರವ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಟರಾಜನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅನುರಾಗ್ ವಾಜಪೇಯಿ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗ್ನೆಟರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಯಸ್ ladies and gentlemen and my dear presidents it is a uh, really a pleasure to host hero india again and again for karnataka and bangalore it has become a habit to host uh, aero show thanks to our four fathers who have invested their might their intelligence in bangalore to build a aerospace ecosystem i thank profusely from the bottom of my heart our beloved prime minister narendra modi ji as well as our defense minister our beloved rajan singh ji for giving us opportunity for the 14th time to host a show in our country and every time we have been very successful in portraying our aerospace industry our defense industry and our capabilities too i was just talking to senior officers today two things they mentioned to me one is indian capability to host aero show was challenged during covid time even paris aero show was cancelled but we went on to have a aero show two years back and uh, successfully too that speaks capability of our uh, defense and our aerospace industries so i thank uh, honorable rajnath singh ji once again for that having faith in us having faith in his team during covid time and allowed us to go on and that has increased our confidence and this time the aero show the aero india show they have resolved to make it one of the biggest biggest in terms of uh, the exhibits the large contingent of uh, foreign defense ministry the large number of ceos attending as well as uh, large number of displays which was never had in any of their shows in, in our country we have exhibition area about 35000 square meter which was 23 last time and displays we have 67 flying displays and uh, number of exhibits from 600 to 809 and uh, the del- foreign delegations which participates in 55 countries last time now 98 countries of course the net effect is the number of mois signed will be much more than the last year the strength of our defense 
is always depends on the air force air force comes in at the right moment and that makes the difference between victory and defeat as well as defending our country or lands air force strengthening of our air force in terms of technology in terms of capabilities in terms of uh, human capital is a continuous process and uh, i probably say that under the leadership of uh, rajnath singh ji there is a paradigm shift as far as defense strategy are concerned defense manufacturing is our concern and defense technology upgradations are concern so the net effect is that we are really atmanirbhar as our prime ministers like to say in our defense at a time when more than 70% of our defense requirements were imported now we manufacture 60% of our requirements in our country as well as we export them so it is something more than the art nirbhar has been achieved in the area of defense the strategies depends on the strength of our fleet and that has been a very important feature and karnataka is playing a very important role i must say as far as aerospace is concerned karnataka is a pioneer karnataka is the original karnataka is the oldest state to have a aerospace manufacturing hub it starts from almost 1950s 1940s rather 1940 hl was started pre independence manufacturing company in aerospace and uh, what what was the best thing could happen is it followed out with the uh, nal bhl bhl drdo which added the r&d strength to a chair but for the r&d strength it would not have grown the way it is these psus have played a very important role in terms of uh, material in terms of application to electronics to avnats you name the technology they are able to provide in 1960 another feather was added in bengaluru aerospace capability that's isro isro was started in 1960 1940 1950 1960 every decade it was a decade of happening in aerospace in bengaluru it is not built in a day and isro as you know is one of the most pioneer institution scientific institution in uh, aerospace and it has made a mark internationally it has increased the capabilities and it has increased our space in space technology 1970 we had assembly of aryabhatta the first satellite in the country and that was done in bangalore through isro and in 1980s lca light combat aircraft which was supposed to be replaced by um, it replaced bin that is now which is known as tejas that was first built started building in 1980 and now 67% of our defense our aerospace manufacturing and services 67% of our country needs is from karnataka and bangalore so the lot of credit of our aerospace development 
should go to the state of Karnataka. We have got aerospace policies in place. We have got aerospace and defense park. Phase 1 is already complete, where we are housing uh, Airbus, Saffron, Collins, and so on and so forth. The second phase is also now, uh, it's all taking off. So this is a hub, and this is the future, and this is the best place to have a show. We can showcase the capabilities of our Indian aerospace technologies, capabilities of manufacturing and also we can showcase the actual manufacturing units both in commercial and defense aircraft building. In fact, other day I was just uh, reviewing the whole thing. We have, Bangalore has all the parts manufacturing for an aircraft. Everything is manufactured here but in parts. So my ambitious dream is that the day should not be far away when we build our own aircraft in our country in Bangalore. That is my ambitious dream and it can happen. And Aero, Aero India can showcase that the capabilities of our India, we can build our air aircraft. And I'm thriving very hard and talking to the concerned people internationally so that day is not far off where India can build its own aircrafts. So, with all this, the curtain raiser makes very, very important and very significant that we are in the right place doing the right things for the future of this country. And uh, I am sure our Make in India, our Atma Nirbhar of our Prime Minister, and especially Atma Nirbhar in defense will be cumulatively exhibited in our Aero India and uh, Aero India, up to the Aero India show, people will be remembering for many years. And those people of the industry will be really feel proud that they have been part of this show and they, there will be a very valuable takeaway from this show. And it will also add the confidence and it will also add for the future expansion and development of aerospace and defense technology and industry in the country and particularly in Karnataka. And I wish all the best for the Aero India and I thank all the officers who have been putting hard work for the last several weeks and to make it a grand success and I am sure that it will be one of the best aero shows we can have in our, not only in our country, in this part of the world because half of the world is now coming. So the entire world have set their sight, their eyes on this aero show. So we are all proud to be part of it and I once again thank our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and profusely what of my heart, I thank the Honorable Defense Minister for giving us this opportunity. Thank you.